front door. Your love will ring for a long, long spell. Went to the window and I peeped through the blind. As they want to tell me what's on his mind, he said, A morning, honey. Oh, oh. A morning, honey. A morning, honey, if you want to get along with me. Well, I screamed and I hollered and we go hard prayers. I called the woman and I loved the best. Falling down the man about a half past three. He said, you know what you want with me, yeah. A morning, honey. Uh-huh. A morning, honey. Uh-huh. A morning, honey, if you want to get along with me. I said, tell me, baby, what's wrong with you? From the day romance is true I said, tell me, baby, face to face I'll put a love up and take my place He said, I'm only honey oh, oh. I'm only honey I'm only honey if you want to get along with me Well, I learned my lesson and now I know The sun may shine and the winds may blow Where the home may come I'm on it, honey. Oh, I'm on it, honey. I'm on it, honey. I just want you to hold me. I'm on it, honey. All right, Money Honey, Elvis Presley, 1956. I got to mention that I got my guitar tuned down a half a step, and that's the reason for that is because I just can't sing as high as Elvis. I could pretty much hit most of the high ones, but I think he's singing even a little bit higher uh, than that. Maybe some of these octaves went up a little bit more. So if you want to play along with me, you got to have it be tuned down by half. Otherwise, original chords are this E, A, B7. Okay, so we've got basically a three chord tune uh, in the key of E. Uh, we do have an E7, and we've got an A, and we've got an A7, and we've got a B7. So pretty much your blues progression, which was pretty common back in uh, 1956 and still is uh, today. So uh, tons of piano uh, in the background. That's pretty much what you hear. And then in, in the intro, along with the piano, there's the intro is something like this. Now I'm down here on E, E bar chord, A form bar chord down here in the seventh fret. It's a little faster than that. I can't slide it up here as good as they can, but that. So in between each one of these verses, that's what you hear. You know the landlord rang my front door bell. That in the piano is pretty much what's going on except for the last line of the verse and for the chorus. Otherwise that's going on the whole time. So as an alternative to being able to, I mean I couldn't do that for the whole song. That just wouldn't make any sense. Not <laughs> for me anyway. Let's put it that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of a you know, landlord rang my front door bell. Let it ring, long, long spell. Now you have an option here. Uh, you can do a. You know, the landlord rang my front door bell. I let it ring for a long, long spell. So you could do one strum for each one of the lines for the first three lines of each verse, or we could do. We could do two times in each line. You know, landlord rang my front door bell. I loved it ring for a long, long spell. Went to the window and beat through the blind. And then the last line, we can actually strum through that. And I asked him to tell me what was he said on my mind. And so that's kind of what I'm doing. And then I'm and then I'm just doing a little bit of this for fill in. You know the landlord rang my front door bell. A little ring for a long, long spell. Went to the window and peeped through the blind. I asked him to tell me 
what was on my mind. So that's basically what I'm doing. Now you got a couple of options. You got the single strum, and then bring the hand down to stop it right away. Or we've got the kind of the three strum. I guess I start from the bottom. And I also take these fingers off. See, they're off when I when I come when I come up. And then when I slam the third one down, then I put those down. So that's your other option in between these rather than just but either either one of those things works. And you know, again, this isn't what what you're hearing in the song. I'm doing that just to kind of help fill in. You know the landlord rang my front doorbell. Let it ring for a long, long spell. So he kind of, you know, he kind of gives you that drum beat kind of thing going in the in the background. Okay. So once we get through that first verse and then the last verse, with, where you can strum through. He asked me up to tell you. He said, but oh, what was on his mind? He said, now we're in the chorus. A, start with the A. Money, honey, oh, oh, oh. Eat money, honey. Money, honey. B7, if you're A7, want to get along with me. And then we got to go to a B7 to kind of turn it around. And we've got three more verses. Uh, there is a guitar solo. Uh, and then at the end, uh, yeah, there's a little little ending that we'll we'll take a, a look at too. So what about you know kind of the speed here? And we'll use the the strumming speed on the chorus because that's pretty much at least two lines where you can strum through. Well, maybe I'll take the that fourth line. So let's go to the second verse and then we'll kind of start with that speed here to see how that feels. When I scream down how I'm so hard pressed. I called a woman and I loved the best. Finally got my baby to half past three. She said, I gotta know what you want with me. I said, Money, honey, uh huh, uh Money, honey. Money, honey, if you wanna get along with me. Money, honey. Oh, 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 money, honey, money, honey, you wanna get along with me? So, kind of a medium bluesy uh, kind of pace on it, and uh, and so it's the same exact speed through the chorus as it is in the verses. So, no change, no change in that pace. Okay, so uh, I guess there's not much really to say other than we, I guess we can go down to this, go down to the last verse, and uh, oh, I'm sorry, let's see. So at the end, okay, so we, we play the chorus at the end. Money, honey, uh huh, uh, money, honey, uh, money, honey, B7, if you B7 want to get along with me. And at the end, I think I hear, and this isn't as it isn't it perfect, but it gives you a little something to work on. I think there's uh, I'm on the E, that E bar chord again. Something like that. The speed is <laughs> is clearly clearly off, but we're gonna do some really fast strumming on that E bar chord. D. D sharp E. So you can end it like that. So you know, there's a couple little 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 pieces in here that are interesting. Again, lots of energy into the into the vocals, and uh, it it uh, tired me out. <laughs> so if you can get this part down, you know the landlord rang my front door bell. Love One thing, this thing, the strumming I'm doing in between, that's the speed that we're doing through the chorus and that last line. So that kind of keeps me on pace, so to speak. And 
that just makes it a little bit easier for, for, for me. So you can do that or, or not, but I think it does help a little bit and it gets you into this rhythm of timing. And you can tell, you know, once that's not working so good, you know, obviously no drummer here, right? <laughs> And a drummer makes a heck of a big, big difference because you kind of lean on that beat. So here you're going to lean on yourself. And the reason I move my hand down here is because sometimes this doesn't sound good up here. So, and I'm just kind of in the habit of doing, I guess. I'm kind of doing this. You can do a couple of things with the A, raising fingers. So in this case, the way I'm playing the A is with, rather than a one, two, three, it's really a one and then a a first, first finger is on that center string of the three A's and then I bring the second one over on top of, on the other side of it, over to the D string and then the third finger goes where it would anyway. I just reverse these two fingers and I bring these up. Now, uh, I have a lesson on this, but you may wonder why am I doing this rather than, you know, like a one, a one two, three. Well, it's because then this finger, if I, as soon as I go to an E, I just slide it up. I don't have to take it off the string. And to do a D, I don't have to take it off either because it's in the right spot already. <laughs> That's why you do that. So. There you go, another, another little tip if you haven't seen uh, that lesson yet. So there you go, Money Honey by Elvis Presley, first album, 1956. It doesn't get much better than this. Take it easy out there, and uh, we'll see you next time.